In this brief tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can whiten the whites of the eye using Phase 1's Capture One Pro. Hi again, Michael Volshinovich here from Vibrant Shot. You can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash vibrantshot and also at vibrantshot.com. So in this tutorial, uh, it's going to be similar to the Photoshop tutorial we may have seen where we uh, whiten the whites of the eye, but this time I am going to show you how to do it inside of Capture One. So if you want to do it inside a raw processor rather than going in to Photoshop, uh, this is the way I typically do it. So we're going to use the same source file, although this works uh, in pretty much any case, uh, but I figure, you know, just keep it nice and uh, similar. And we're basically going to take the same process. We're going to use Phase 1's layer tools to mask in the white of the eye, and then we're going to use uh, some slightly different adjustments because obviously we don't have a selective color adjustment uh, to actually make the correction. So the first thing we're going to do, uh, essentially after I fix this, it looks like this. So as you can see, uh, just taking away some of that um, that you know ugly blue and green color that's in there. And so the way we did that is we're going to create a new layer here. That's essentially our adjustment layer. We can just call this I. And we're going to grab our uh, draw mask tool. So that's the first one here. And we're going to hit the M key so that uh, we can see what we're drawing. So we're just going to zoom in a little bit here. And we're going to start drawing away. Now. Um, as a reference, I've got a hardness of about 50% and I am at 100% opacity. So just make sure that you have 100% opacity there. Uh, it just makes things a little bit easier. And so just pick the appropriate brush size and we're just going to start kind of going over this. Now obviously we don't have uh, the lasso tool here, so we're going to just be kind of messy with this. Uh, and that's okay, because I'm going to show you we're going to fix it afterwards. So we want to just more or less get you know coverage over this thing. Uh, and then we're going to make a little adjustment before we finalize this. So just going over here, again not worried about being super precise with this, because what we're going to do now is we're going to grab this other tool which is the erase mask. And uh, with this tool here we're just going to go around the edges here. It's going to kind of soften them and refine them a little bit. Go around the inside. Take away this bottom portion here. There we are. And uh, we're just going to right click again and I'm just going to soften this. So I'm going to take the opacity down to say about 40% or so. I'm going to enlarge this and we're just going to dab in the corners here which is going to just help to erase a little bit. Essentially just like we did inside of Photoshop just because we don't want to fully apply the effect in these corners here. There we go. So I'm going to hit the uh, M key just to hide that because we are done with it. And obviously, again, we don't have selective color tools. So since we're dealing with a color cast, you know, color cast really is almost like white balance. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to use the white balance tools to try and correct this. Uh, now, luckily with um, Capture One Pro 8, uh, we do have the option of adjusting white balance locally. So if you don't have this tool open uh, underneath your local adjustments tab, uh, just right click and say add tool and just make sure that um, white balance is actually available. So um, we're going to just kind of play around here. So we again know that uh, we had a little bit too much cyan, a little bit too much green. So uh, to offset green we can use tint because tint goes between sort of magenta and uh, green. And then for blue we have uh, the Kelvin which is going to kind of go between blue and yellow. So we're going to find some sort of combination that essentially looks good. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is just nudge it up so that we have more yellow in here. Uh, so I went from 5,000 to 5,500. And then the next thing I'm going to do is go up in my tint. Now if I crank this up like crazy, it starts to look too magenta. So kind of easing it back until it starts to look good. And uh, maybe a little bit more, somewhere around 4, 4 I think might be good. There we go. Um, so that's 
I would say pretty darn close. And as you can see, really simple, possibly even easier than in Photoshop. Now, obviously, uh, you could potentially do this inside of uh, Photoshop using the camera raw filter uh, and just kind of mask that area in. Uh, not obviously as easy to mask it in because you have to jump between camera raw filter and um, the layers uh, below it. So, um, you know, obviously a lot easier to do here inside of Capture One. So if you're using uh, the raw processor, you can do this before you even get your file into Photoshop. As you can see, really easy fix. And if we toggle this on and off, there's our before, there's our after. So uh, a really simple fix. And again, leaves our eye looking a lot more pleasing while once again, retaining some of the redness um, of the veins and leaving it looking nice and natural. So I hope you found that helpful. Uh, again, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel below and also follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash vibrantshot. Bye for now.